Simon was my only friend. Man, I can't believe Adventure Time's actually ending. Wait, am I sweating? What is happening? Oh, right, global warming. I should just build something to help keep me cool. I just wish there was like an object from Adventure Time that I could make a real version of that would do that. That the power of the crown will save me with its frost. I don't yet know what this means. That's it. I'll make a sword out of blood. The Ice King's crown is the very heart of the tragic story of Simon Petrikov and is central to some of the best Adventure Time storylines. I mean, you get Simon and Marcy post Mushroom Cloud War, you get the season 4 finale of Finn the Human and Jake the Dog, which is one of the best. Not to mention Betty and her entire quest to cure the Ice King of his insanity. The Ice King's crown is probably the reason I even started watching Adventure Time in the first place. I remember I thought it was just like a dumb, random humor cartoon until I caught Holly Jolly secrets on TV seven years ago <sighs> I'm so old in season six we actually see the origins of the crown it turns out it's basically an ancient magic supercomputer designed to grant one wish unfortunately that wish goes to a mutated dinosaur that wishes to be exactly like a cranky old ice wizard from then on whoever wears the crown is physically transformed into an ice wizard and is also granted tremendous ice powers flight and immortality the only downside is that the crown also drives you completely bonkers insane both simon and farm world finn describe this process as hearing voices in their head coming from the crown promising to teach them the secrets and the powers of ice and snow. So, we're going to try and make one of these crowns for real, focusing on one, making sure the wearer is kept cool using the power of frost, and two, generating sounds and voices that only the person wearing the crown can hear in their head. I think that sounds pretty good. Let's get started. Oh, you usually, usually when... Ice King crown time! Although I think it's technically more of a tiara. This metal plate underneath is a Peltier cooler, which is uh, one of these things. This device is an electronic heat pump. That means you supply it with power through these wires, and one side gets really cold, and the other side gets really hot. The technical term for one of these is, of course, a Shoto Todoroki. Shoto! The cold side touches this metal plate here and is applied directly to the forehead. The hot side is attached to a heat sink and this little uh, this little fan in the front here keeps the heat sink cool. You need to get rid of the excess heat off the hot side, otherwise the Peltier cooler doesn't work as well and also the, the crown would melt. Both the fan and the heat sink run off of one of these 1S LiPo batteries and you turn it on using this switch here. This is pretty power hungry, but at 4 watts this cold plate uh, gets chilly really fast and is like kind of right on the line between like comfortable and uncomfortable cold. My body temperature has been lowering at a supernatural rate to what is now about 30 degrees Celsius. Let's see how cold this uh, crown made my head. Uh, yeah, about 30 Celsius. Math checks out. This is a 5 volt boost converter powered by a 1S LiPo battery and that powers this Bluetooth stereo speaker circuit. And instead of being attached to speakers, the outputs are actually these bone conduction transducers. These are a lot like regular speakers, only instead of making sound by vibrating air, they make sound by vibrating your skull. So you can connect to the crown with your phone via Bluetooth, and you can play audio through the bone conduction transducers that vibrate through the crown and through your skull so that you hear the sounds directly in your head. Let's just play Adventure Time music through this thing. <laughs> okay, uh, I've just 
had like a really dumb realization and that's that I've, I've built a crown that makes me feel cold and also plays music that only I'm hearing right now. And it makes for a really boring video. <laughs> I should probably put this crown on someone else and like get their reaction. I'll, I'll find some kid who's like a fan of Adventure Time or something and I'll do that right now. Right now. Seriously, we're, we're doing this. This thing should be like one size fits all. I don't know, okay. your head's like smaller than I am. Don't freak out. Whoa. <laughs> What's happening? It's really cold. <laughs> really cold. Yeah? It's making my forehead really cold. <laughs> I'm gonna run some diagnostics here on my phone. Oh. Uh, this is a prototype crown, so don't don't freak out if anything weird happens. Just let me know if you feel anything strange. I'm just gonna okay. look up some data on my phone here, okay? Um, do, uh, is, do you feel something? What's uh, going on? I hear voices and music. Wait, you hear voices? I hear voices. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah, this is not. I don't cool. hear. I don't hear any voices. What voices are you hearing? Okay. Oh, uh, I hear Marceline. Yeah, 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 that's good. Well. Keep doing that. <laughs> I didn't know that's good. I hear it really loud. So it's actually vibrating your skull so that you're hearing the sounds in your head and not like through your ear holes. Is it? Yeah. 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 Oh, here. Plug up your ears. You'll still be able to hear it. You'll actually hear it better than if your ears are open. <laughs> you're crazy! I am! You're going crazy! This is so cool! Do you think I'd be able to prank some people with this? Do you think Definitely. that they would feel weird if I put this on their head? Yes! Please do that. That would be incredible. I'm at the Grove, going to the Pacific Theater here. They're having an Adventure Time finale screening. We'll ask for episode in a theater like it's a movie. And it's gonna be pretty sad, I think, but... Would you like to try the power of the Ice King's crown? <laughs> I think you'll have to take off your Fiona hat first though. You can hear the ice king in your head? Oh my gosh. Are you going crazy? No. It's real. <laughs> can you hear the ice king right now? No. <laughs> Why are you hearing the ice king in your head? <laughs> You're crazy. No, I'm not. It's real. The voices are real. Oh, you're weird. This is pretty cool. <laughs> One, two, three. Gunter, why did you goot my fry? I gooted oh them gosh. and Are you they going were crazy? mine. No. What kind of goot goots is Gunter's fries? <laughs> and doesn't even goot him in the eyes. Gunter, there were tears there. If you gooted them, would you even care? Gunter, do you even love You're crazy. me? Right. Wow, Jake, wasn't that a great video? You got Alan, it was a great video! Do you know what time it is? I sure do. It's sponsored message time! This video is sponsored by Blue Apron. You know them. Blue Apron delivers fresh ingredients in perfect proportions so you can create delicious chef designed recipes at home. The ingredients are all pre-measured and come in like these little vials. It makes it feel like you're doing a science experiment. 
the first 50 people to sign up using the link in the description get $50 off their first two weeks of Blue Apron, which is perfect timing to get in on Blue Apron's partnership with Bob's Burgers. You know how in Bob's Burgers they have like the joke burger names written on the board in the back? Well now you can actually eat those burgers in real life through Blue Apron. The week of September 17th includes the Absentee Shallot Burger with caramelized shallots and Fontina cheese fries, which is an actual burger that you'll be able to see on the cartoon Bob's Burgers and eat in real life when you sign up for Blue Apron. Also, the Taser Nerf Dart winner, originally I was only going to pick one of you, but then that video got like one and a half million views, so now I am picking ten Taser Nerf Dart winners out of the comments section from that video. Uh, I, you're going to have to wait a little bit because I'm special shipping more of those capacitors from China, so in the next video I'll be announcing ten Taser Nerf Dart winners from the previous video, so make sure you don't miss that because I'm only going to give them to you if you respond. Alright, thanks for watching! Ah!